It's already gone. What's up, my friends? Oh, shit. All right. <clears throat> so I thought I would talk today about um, one of my favorite habits, which is journaling. What's up, friends? Demion here. So I recently listened to the audio book, The Artist Way, by Julia Cameron, I believe her name is. And one of the major practices of the book is a practice called Daily Pages. And the philosophy behind Daily Pages is that every morning you write three pages. And she has a quote in the book that's something like, I'll take care of the quantity and I'll let God take care of the quality. And this was pretty transformative for me because before reading this book I have heard about the power of journaling I have applied journaling in my life but my journal was very scattered so I'm just going to show you I think this is my journal all right let's see so you, you can see I have some some missing pages let's see some doodles you know I definitely have more doodles this is just kind of my style here you know grab a sharpie write a few notes down um, these are notes from one of my breathwork classes that I was taking um, you know throughout here we don't have to go through the whole thing but what you're gonna find is pretty much what I would do is uh, write down on most days what I want to accomplish that day some days I wouldn't do that um, if I'm taking a new course or something like that, I'll jot a few notes in and, um, you know, just pretty much random doodles, stuff I need to do. And this, this still helps. This is better than nothing. <clears throat> if you write down stuff that you want to do, it, it helps to, to gain that level of clarity. There's a lot of programs out there that have you put like, have you doing certain things um, in order to accomplish the program and they'll like have you create a calendar and put a little star next to each day that you accomplish that task and you, you're really building um, you're building confidence in yourself so there's this thing about when you set the intention to do something and then you actually follow through with it that teaches you that you can trust yourself so then you're more likely to go after bigger and better things because you've built that trust in yourself by setting intention to do something and doing it. And it also just helps to, you know, for me, keep me on track. Nothing wrong with this type of journaling, but now I'm gonna get into some of the first pages of when I got into the book. So now you can see I'm actually filling up the page. And, and this is what I've done is, you know, fill up the page. And, and here I'm actually writing, I believe this page, I'm, I'm, I'm writing um, <clears throat> starting at the right side of the page to the left, mirror image writing, it's called, and I'm, and I'm doing that with my left hand. So mirror image writing with the non-dominant hand. Um, this is, I, I got this from the book, um, use your brain to gr use your hands to grow your brain um, whole brain power by Michael Levy and he has a really fascinating story a really fascinating theory and his basic theory is that if you look at the homunculus if you look at the real estate in our brain um, and, and how the rest of our body is mapped in our brain our hands take up a massive amount of real estate in our brain and there's um, direct nerve endings. So when we're doing tasks that require dexterity, it actually sends these nerve impulses to the brain and it helps to improve the health and function of our brain. And now this was proven with uh, one of the first studies with, with, with nuns. And when they looked at the nuns who had good handwriting and who maintained their penmanship up until late uh, in their life, their brains were healthier. 
That's, that's pretty much the basis of the study. It's a long study, and you can go deeper into it, but that, that's the basis of the study. It's that there's a really, really big correlation between uh, how you use your hands and the overall health of your brain. So I had already kind of um, had this practice, and by um, the artist's way, that book, uh, the morning pages, and, and just kind of getting the quantity in really helped me to kind of get back to this practice. So I, I actually, I'm not the best with my penmanship. I still do some random sketches, um, as you can see. But besides just journaling and, and, and doing it kind of freestyle, not worrying as much about the quality, um, I'm, I'm also a, a cognizant of the actual penmanship. And I'm using my right and my left hand. That's not part of the Artist's Way book, but that's just something that I added in there that I really like. Um, but this was a practice where I kind of just added it into my morning routine. Uh, it took me about 10 minutes or so each morning, and I found that I was um, also <clears throat> doing it at nighttime. Now, um, now let's go into a little bit on some of the journaling prompts that I've got. So I recently added um, some really great journaling prompts from Benjamin Hardy's Future Self Course. So one of the things that I do now in my journal, and, and I've completed this journal all the way to the end, uh, I'm starting my new one, but um, five questions. So where am I at now? And that's like, which is where am I at in my life? I'm, you know, uh, working on being more patient with my son. I'm, I'm starting this new job. I'm, this is my goals for my current business. I just got a new laminar flow hood for my mycology. You know, um, I'm working on improving my health. A a anything that, like where I'm at personally. Um, and then where, what are the biggest um, accomplishments from my last 90 days? So if I look back in the last 90 days, what are the things I'm most proud of? What would I like to accomplish within the next 90 days? What would I like to accomplish within the next three years? And what would I like to accomplish within the next five years? And this is just some questions, but when, I, uh, when I'm looking for prompts and I don't wanna just randomly write, it, it, it feels, it's, it's really good to have prompts. Um, and what I'll do is, is often I'll write a lot about my future self, uh, my future self, my future identity, uh, my future goals, and that gives me a general direction. And then I, I like to look at the long term and the short term. So I, I'll still write out that future self. And then what I'll do is I'll write out what do I want to accomplish by tomorrow. And then I'll still have, I still have a very specific 90 day goal. So I'll make sure that I'm writing that out. So I kind of have like a long term vision which for me personally, it's um, to have a mushroom farm, a successful mushroom farm, and a healing center. Uh, but then I have a 90 day goal, which is to create a Rishi product. And then I know I need to take action on that. And then I have, what am I doing tomorrow? Like what, what are all of my little few things that I wanna to accomplish tomorrow? Uh, some other journaling prompts. Uh, one of them is at the end of the night, I just do little bulletins and I, and I do a review of my day. And this is another way to kind of strengthen the brain and to use your memory, but then to go back and after doing those bulletins, to just write a few things that you're grateful for. Um, and what I found is that when I do this journaling at nighttime, when I first started adding the journaling to my nighttime practice, I started to remember my dreams more. And I, I believe that there's a direct correlation there between activating my brain, using my memory, and um, having that transfer over into me remembering my dreams more. So I hope you found this um, useful. I hope you found something here that is of value to you. And I wish you the best. Peace.